What's going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Uh, today we got our Next Gen Speed Camaro in the shop. And so we're gonna show you how to remove the front bumper. We're gonna show you everything you need to take off in order to get this front bumper off. And it's gonna be very useful for our upcoming video of installing our very first pre-built 6th gen Camaro headlights for the 2016-18. We're going to offer a few different options on these. They're all going to be flow series on the DRL. You can get them with or without the halos. This set we have in front of us right here do not have the halo option on them. Um, they do have built-in LED low and high beams for your, for your headlights. So that's going to be coming up. But first things first, got to get this bumper off. And then we're going to start by taking off. There's a clip here, clip here on this plastic trim. And then we're going to take off all these little Torx bolts along. And then these just snap right off. So once all this, the clips and screws are out, you can start on the end. These kind of just pop up, work your way down. They're just little plastic clips that hold it in. There you have it. That's all you have to take off for the top portion. Then what we're going to do is there's going to be bolts on the bottom along the, the bumper and then there's going to be bolts in here. So you're going to have one basically like right here then you're going to have a few of them along these points here and then one right up top right here on the inside that you have to get to. All right, so what we're going to do next is we have three Torx bolts here that we take out. So I'm going to do it a way that we don't take off the wheel and take off the whole fender liner. I just take these off, pull it back, and I can get my hand in there enough to get those bolts that are along the fender. All right, so to take off the bottom, bolts uh so this car actually has a splitter on but it uses the factory bolts but we're going to take off all these little seven millimeter bolts that go all along the bumper to the sides and then over here with the well, air deflector uh, you could take this whole thing this whole air deflector off with five bolts if you don't want to just make sure you get these two that are over here. All right. Now that we got these Torx bolts off here, we can kind of just pull this back. We get a good place to grab it. Very flexible. Got one there too. But if that one's take that one off, it can give you some more room. So if you see there, there's gonna be one here, here, and up there. I don't know if you guys can see all the way up here. It's going to be one. So take these four off and then repeat on the other side. Then that's going to let go of this section here. Got the top bolts out. We got the bottom bolts out. Go all the way along the outer rim of the, the bumper. So we're going to take these out on both sides. And then after that, we're going to pull the bumper off. 
All right. So we got all those bolts out. They're four seven millimeter bolts. Three over here, and then the one all the way up top. And then there's one that goes right here. So I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. All right, so once you get this bolt out here on the side, all those ones off on the inside, on both sides, all the bottom screws, all these ones up top. Do this on each side, so you're just gonna pull this and out towards you. And then you do have the main harness you have to unplug on each side, looks like this. So this is what the main harness plug is going to look like. You have this red tab here that you have to pull down. And then you just click this little black tab in. It's going to release that clip and then you just kind of pull it out. Alright, and once that's out, you got the, the whole bumper off. Then you can continue to do or change whatever you're going to change on there. And then to put it back on, you just re repeat the steps. And then there you have it. So you remove 2016 and newer front bumper.